guys. So they were gonna be talking about should you lift weights or should you run? Should you do both? Or does running impact your muscle mass? All right, so there's a lot of different factors. Okay, from my experience, you want to run, but you don't want to overrun, okay? What I mean by that is today, lifting chest, so you did bench, you did dips, push-ups, and you did abs, whatever, all right? And then I go on a run. My run's not very long, right? But it's pretty fast paced, so a mile, maybe three-fourths of a mile, right? But I'm, as you can tell, tired, okay? So for sure, it's good for you because you need that cardiovascular work. Now, if you want to, if you want to lift hard, do supersets where you're getting your heart rate up while you're lifting weights, that will count. I'm a firm believer in being able to run if you need to run. If you need to get out of a situation, if you need to go save somebody, you just always be ready, right? That's kind of why you're lifting weights, right? You wanna, you wanna look good. But you also want to be in a, you know, be able to in a situation if you have to be ready. So that's why I think running is really good. There are not that many times where you need to run to save your life two miles. You know, I mean, military. OK, you know, but other than that, I mean, in a real life situation, you need to run about a half a mile. You need to be able to do that fast. You need to be able to after you're done with that half mile, be able to function you're not you're not heaving you're not huffing and puffing you you got the half mile in your adrenaline's going let's go and i also think that it's good um in the morning for fat loss so like what i just did lifted weights in the morning in a fasted state and then you also do a little cardio and you do cardio about maybe three times a week you at least need to do it once a week just that's a must i mean even if you go on half a mile run that's what you need to do it's not going to kill your gains. These people scared about gains, losing their gains, not getting it. The biggest thing that you need to do is just be consistent. Like I said in my other videos, you know, you just need to be consistent, do it every day. And what I learned, me getting older, I'm actually in really, really good shape, right? You can tell. Really, really good shape. I'm 28. I'm coming up on 30, right? I'll be 29 this year. And what it was for me to get in really good shape is to be able to do the exercises well. So it's, it's in probably another video, but I'm gonna make it in this one because I'm already going on it, is to be able to do the exercise well. So for instance, if you're benching and you're just trying to slap on weight, right? And you're, you're doing it and you're getting it. And I've been there, dude, I've, dude, top 10 in high school. Like, dude, I was, I was in it, right? But I was lifting kind of stupid. I just wanted to push the weight up. I didn't really care about you know, a rotator cuff or my shoulder or anything like that. And as I've gotten older, I'm realizing I didn't need, I didn't need to lift that heavy weight to get in shape. I thought I did. I thought, you know, the more weight, you know, you push, the bigger your chest is going to be, the better you're going to look, all that stuff, blah, blah, blah. Dude, that's, that's a load of BS. So it's actually doing it correctly. For instance, if you're, if you're benching and you're going up here and you're really getting your back, that's your rotator cuff, right, bro? That's not good. You wanna have it come down and press with your chest, right? So there are little things like that you need to, you need to work on, you need to develop, and make sure that you're doing the exercises correctly and with good form. And not only correctly in good form, but you're actually focusing on the muscle itself when you're doing the movement. For instance, if you're doing chest, you need to make sure that your chest is engaged. What I do is I actually think about the muscle I'm working when I'm working it. So leg bench, again, I'm pressing. What am I working on? I'm not working on my shoulders. I don't really wanna just feel the burn in my triceps. Where do I wanna feel it? I wanna feel it in my chest. Okay, so I need to engage that muscle even before I'm lifting off the weight, right? Another thing is, is when you're doing pull-ups, you don't wanna just try to get up there, right? And just throw your legs up and to try to get over the bar. And I don't care about numbers anymore, dude. Screw everybody. I don't even go to the gym, man. I, I built my own because I, I just don't like hanging around people. People are in it for the, for the glamour. Pfft, dude, I don't give a F. I'm just trying to lift some big boy weight and lift it right. So, for instance, when you're doing your pull-ups, you want to have good form. You want to pull up 
and engage the lats. And when you come down, you're still engaging the lats. When you come up, you're engaging the lats the whole time, right? And I do believe that you can do a couple cheat reps, you know, on your third or fourth set, but not on your first or second. Your first and second sets are the most critical and the most important because you want to burn out the muscles that you're trying to work. For instance, you want to try to burn out your back. You don't want to try to burn out your whole body because now your shoulders are getting involved. Now your shoulders are burnt out. And then you're doing your third and fourth set. And now you can barely do six when you're able to do 20 at the beginning. You know, so just not burning yourself out, burning the muscle that you want to. And yes, a penny with the head up. All right. That's good luck, boys. So should you do cardio? Yes. Three, two, three days a week is fine. Definitely at least once a week, right? And you just don't want to go too long, but you want to go intense. I don't really like hit that much. It's okay, but I'd rather just run to be able to have that functionality in the situation that I need to. All right, I'll let you boy peace.